This is a walkthrough of the Packet Tracer Lab 6.4.3.4 troubleshooting default gateway issues that is part of the CCNA routing and switching material 6.0 uh, and the uh, part called Introduction to Networking. So 6.4.3.4 troubleshooting default gateway issues. And we have a topology that looks like this. We have four PCs and we have two switches and one router. So we have one single uh, layer three device here and the default gateway issues means that we probably have problems on layer three with the settings and routing between those two networks. So it should be a quite easy uh, task to, to go through. We have a lot of background uh, documentation and uh, text to read here and uh, I will not read it all aloud because I guess you can read for yourself so uh, I suggest that you uh, pause this video and so I so I suggest that you pause this video and read the text on the to the left on the screen and when you have done that I will scroll down and continue so Please pause the video uh, right here and read the text if you have not already done that. Okay, so we have got some background here. We need to look at the default gateway settings on different devices and uh, uh, we need to verify the addressing table that we have up here that is missing a few uh, settings. So we need to have a look at that. We'll first start with looking at the uh, topology here. So we have a uh, two networks divided like this. And this one is 10.0 slash 24. And down here we have 11.0 slash 24. And the IP addresses, uh, PC1 is 10.10. .10. PC2 is 10.11, uh, PC2 is 11.10, .10, and the 4 is 11.11. .11. And the switch IP for management, that is, uh, is uh, that one is 10.2, and that one here, switch 2, is or should be 11.2. So the big question, since this is about default gateway, is what's the IP, address, IP addresses of the router. So let's have a look at that first. So we jump into the router, I guess, and see what we can do here. Show IP int brief. So it's as easy at, as expected, 10.1 and 11.1. So gig zero slash zero uh, is 10.1, and I guess this is 10.0, zero, zero, this is zero slash zero. So zero slash zero gig, and it is 10.1, and the other one is gig zero slash one, and the IP address is 11.1. So, what could possibly be wrong in this topology. So we have uh, all these um, settings up here and if we should fill this table out completely, we can do that. Default gateway for the switch one is uh, 10.1, for switch two is 11.1 or should be. Uh, for PC one, it should be 10.1. For PC2, it would be 10.1, PC3, 11.1, and PC4, 11.1. Since these PCs and the switch, all these three devices should use 11.1 as default gateway, while the top devices, PC1, PC2, and Switch1, should use the 10.1 as a default gateway to reach outside of the network. So, let's have a look. What do I expect us to do? I think they said that we should first verify connectivity between in the same network. Yeah, uh, test connectivity to devices on devices on the same network. Yeah, so we can first lo 
localize if we have any uh, problems on the local subnet before we look at routing outside of the subnet. And we'll do that. We can do some pings. We start with PC1. And ping 10, no, 192.168.10.11. You can PC1, ping PC2. Nope. We cannot. Why can we not ping PC1? between PC1 and PC2. Let's have a look at the settings because this is only traffic that goes local between the PCs uh, in the switch on layer 2. So nothing else is involved but the PCs. And we have a look at the configuration. 192.168.11.10 that's correct. And subnet mask is correct. And default gateway is wrong. So we have a wrong gateway on R1 or on PC1. We'll write that down because we don't want to change that right now. Uh, PC PC1 wrong gateway. Because now we're working on finding a problem between those two PCs and it cannot have to do with the default gateway setting because this traffic is just going between the PC1 and PC2. So that's not a problem here. Let's go to PC2 and see how that looks like. Not the config tab, but to the desktop and IP configuration. 192.168.10.11. Uh, that's correct. 10.11. Let's jump back to PC1 again. What could be wrong here? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was wrong. So the uh, on PC one, it's not the wrong uh, gateway, wrong address. I guess you saw that, but I didn't. So the eleven is wrong here because the IP of PC one should be ten dot ten and not eleven dot one. So the default gateway setting is correct, while the address is wrong. So we change that instead. Do we do that? Ten dot ten. And we try ping again, and we should hopefully get a better result. So we have a ping between PC1 and PC2. So we have a local communication between the two PCs. Let's do the same on the lower part of the network. So we jump to PC3 and ping PC4. And I should write the correct IP address. 158 is not correct, 168. And we can ping between PC3 and PC4, so that's good. So we have communication between all PCs. Let's go back to the top part and see if we can ping to the default gateway. Ping uh, 192.168.10.1. We can do that from PC1. Let's have a look at PC2. Ping 192.168.10.1. We can do that from PC2. Let's look at the lower part. Ping 192.168.11.1. We are on PC3 now. And we can ping default gateway on PC3. Can we do it from PC4? Ping 192.168.11.1. Yes, we can. So, next question. Can we ping between the networks. Let's go to PC1 again, the first one, and see what we can do here. Uh, we can ping uh, 10.1, so we can reach the default gateway, and we have verified the default gateway setting of this machine. We can see that 10.1 is default gateway. So if we ping something outside of, us, of the subnet, 192.168.11. something, uh, we send it to the correct address. And uh, the first thing to ping is actually the 11.1, uh, I, uh, I guess, because that's the closest part. So we don't try all the way right now. I take one step at a time. So I ping 11.1, which is the router, the foreign uh, address, the remote uh, 
IP address of the router, and I can ping that from PC1. Now I ping 11.10, that works, and 11.11 .11 does not work. So from PC1, I can ping from to PC3, but not to PC4. So is the problem on PC1 or PC4? Something is wrong. And we have checked most settings in PC1, so I guess it's something in PC4. First of all, we can try it from PC2 to see if we have the same problem. Ping 192.168.11.11. We cannot ping PC4 either from PC1 or PC2, uh, but we can do it from PC3. So we have some kind of uh, routing issues. However, we can ping uh, 11.10 from PC1. So we have a routing, so there's nothing but a router. So I assume there's something wrong in PC4. Let's look at the settings. And we see that the IP address is 11.11, .11. that's correct. And it has the wrong default gateway. It should be 11.1 .1 instead. So we write down that and write that down. PC4 wrong gateway. And we change that. And after that, we will see if we can ping from PC1. We ping PC4 again. And now we can ping PC4. Happy, happy. So I guess that is it. We can ping from PC1 to PC3 and 4. We can ping, can we ping from PC2 to everything? 11.11 uh, 11 is working and 11.10. Uh, I guess we test that, that before. Yeah. So we have full connectivity and I think we have solved the uh, problem here. And um, let me see. Yeah, we should check the switches as well. So now we have routing working between all PCs. And let's see if there's something wrong with the switches as well. So we try to we start over again with PC1. And we try to from PC1 ping um, switch one on the same subnet. We should should have done that er earlier when we tried to verify the local communication. I missed that, sorry, 192.168.10.2. We cannot ping 10.2. Can we ping 11.2? No, we cannot. So let's look at the switch. What's wrong with the switch? Is there something wrong with the switch? Here we have the switch and we we'll look at the show IP int brief. We can see on the VLAN interface 192.168.10.2 looks correct. Let's have a look at the configuration. Interface, interface, interface. 192.168.10.2 with the correct subnet mask. That's correct. I did not see any default route, default gateway. And yeah, that's the problem. Show IP route. No, show route. No, we cannot do that because it's a layer 2 device. Uh, we do an IP default gateway to add a default gateway. This is a layer 2 device. It does not route. It is a need to have a default gateway, not for routing purposes like a router, but be to be able to reach remote networks. And I guess that that's a problem, but we should still be able to ping from PC1 to Switch 1 because it does not use the default gateway. Uh, but let's verify this first. Uh, IP default gateway is 10.10. .10 no, sorry. 192.168.10.1. Like that. And we can try from, from the switch. Do right mem as well. Ping 192.168.10.10. Yeah, we can do that. Then 11. I said 11. I wrote 12, which is not correct. So why didn't couldn't we ping from PC1 to the switch one? Yeah, we could. Yeah, I br I, I break it too fast, probably because of the ARP. So we can ping 10.11. 
Yeah, we can. We lost the first ping because of ARP. And uh, we can ping. Uh, let's see if we can ping. No, we jump out of that one and look at uh, PC. The PC one again. Ping 10 192.168. Sorry. <laughs> Ping 192.168.11.2. It does not work. Not do not break it too fast. At least two requests needs to be seen. So we know that it's not just an ARP timeout. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at the other switch then and see and see how it looks like. Show run. VLON 1, no IP address. I guess that's wrong. Int VLON 1, IP address 192.168.11.2. I am quite sure that this is a reason for us not to be able to work to ping that IP address. Show IP int brief. We see we have an IP address and we I saw a default gateway. Let's have a look at it again. We have an IP address on the VLON and we have an IP default gateway. Can we ping that IP address from the remote PC now? Then not too fast. Hang on, hang on, relax. Oh, this should work. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we had uh, several ARP timeouts on, on the way here. So, But now we can ping the switch from the remote PCs and uh, we can see that we have a connectivity between the PC1 and both switches. So we have routing and we can see that we should see if we can from... I should write down the arrow here as well. We had a switch to no IP. And also, I forgot to write down that switch one had no gateway address. So can we from PC3, for example, ping 11.2 uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we could. So we have full connectivity between everything here and um, I guess we're done there yeah. and this is actually telling us that we have done something right that we have a full completion in the uh, in the in the uh, counting of points in the uh, packet tracer so this was how we solved this uh, the uh, packet tracer lab 6434 troubleshooting default gateway issues part of the CCNA routing switching 6.0 material introduction to networking. Thanks for watching.